Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, saints. I'm here to talk about blasphemy against the Holy Spirit. It is written, Matthew 12, 31. And so I tell you, every kind of sin and slander can be forgiven, but blasphemy against the Holy Spirit will not be forgiven. Anyone who speaks a word against the Son of Man will be forgiven. But anyone who speaks against the Holy Spirit will not be forgiven, either in this age or in the age to come. Another scripture, Luke twelve ten. Anyone who speaks against the Son of Man can be forgiven. But anyone who blasphemies, blasphemies the Holy Spirit will not be forgiven. So, you know, if you slander and... um. You go against the word, of, against the speaker word against the, I mean, God, the son of God, which is Jesus. You'll, for, you'll be forgiven. But if you speak and you blaspheme the Holy Spirit, you, you will not be forgiven. This is what the word says, and I believe it. And so it is, and so it shall be. But when you go against the Holy Spirit, you will not be forgiven. There are many, um, how can I say, um, satanic organizations, satanic affiliations, where they have them pronounce and go against the Holy Spirit. And they um, blaspheme the Holy Spirit. They have those people do it so that they know that if they do that, then they would never be forgiven. So they'll do that so that once they curse and do all these awful things and say these things against the Holy Spirit, as it's written, you will not be forgiven. So what happens is, is that these satanic organizations and affiliations, they know the word better than some of you and I. They um, study the word better than you and I. They um, twist the words better than you and I. And they know the laws of the Bible. And they know the judgments in the Bible. And they use it to their benefit. They use it against their own members. So that way they cannot cross over and make it into the promised land. And that is the worst thing you could do is blaspheme the Holy Spirit. That is the worst, the worst of the worst. Repentance is the way out when you blaspheme Jesus and God. And the Bible says that you can be forgiven. You will be, you, I believe you will be forgiven if you repent and you're sincere from the heart. God will forgive you. But the Holy Spirit you can't be forgiven. I'm just going on what the word says. And I believe the, what the word says. It has never steered me wrong. And I believe that if you, as the scriptures say, if you bless him, the Holy Spirit, you will not be forgiven. I would advise strongly not to bless him the Holy Spirit, um, because God is a forgiving God, and he'll forgive you for so many things that you have done, but the Holy Spirit, he doesn't joke around with, that is something, that's a absolutely no, 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 there is no coming back from that, so my advice to saints out there, if they don't know the word, and I've just given you scriptures. And you can also go and pray to the Lord and ask him to, you know, explain it or give you more understanding. But that is one of the laws, the, the laws of the Lord. And you do not do that. So this is a warning to those that don't know that. Um, I would definitely never, ever blaspheme the Holy Spirit. I wouldn't even do it for Jesus or to the Lord. I wouldn't even 
all I could do is just praise and and um, ask questions and inquiry prayers and just thank the Lord for everything he has done for me. Um, no matter the circumstances, if I'm going through something, if I'm down, if whatever the situation in my life, I always give thanks. Give thanks to God in everything that you do. And the Lord will see you through no matter the circumstances. This is a message to the wise. Do not, do not, do not. You want to cross over to the promised land. Do not blaspheme the Holy Spirit. I hope that this message helps somebody. I cover this message in the blood of Jesus. And I pray that nobody blasphemes the Holy Spirit. That God will encourage you. That all you would do is thank the Lord in all circumstances and everything you're going through and go to God for counsel for anything that you need because he's the answer to all your endeavors, all your prayers, anything, inquiry prayers. You know, you can go to our Heavenly Father for inquiry prayers. Um, if you don't know something, you want to know about your past, you want to know about your lineage, you want to know about um, certain people in your family, you want to know about deep secrets, you know that the Lord is the one who can answer that. Holy Spirit can give you revelation, dreams, revelations, um, so many avenues to answer your prayers. So if you're in doubt or you're not sure about something or you don't have a man of God that you can talk to and pray with, go to God. That is the best answer is go to God in everything. Even when I'm, you know, giving you these scriptures and I'm giving you the word, you're not, you're in doubt, go to God about me, go to God and he will surely show you who I am and whatever I'm saying, if it's truth or not truth, go to God in all things and your spirit also, the spirit, Holy Spirit will also let you know who is a true servant of God and who is not. There are so many signs and your spirit doesn't lie. Your whole, the Holy Spirit doesn't lie. Anyway, have a blessed day, a blessed morning, blessed afternoon and a blessed evening. I cover this message in the blood of Jesus and I pray that your eyes are open and your spiritual ears are open. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Amen and amen. Thank you. Have a blessed one. Bye.